I'm Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on probability. Here is a question from previous test paper. I'd like you to pause the video, copy the question, solve, and then look into my suggestions. In a game, the numbers 1 to 20 are written on tickets and placed in a bag. A player draws out a number at random. He or she wins $3. If the number is even, $6. If the number is a square number and $9. If the number is both even and square number. Based on this, we have three questions for you. Question number one. Calculate the probability that the player wins $3. Four options are given to you. Question two. Calculate the probability that the player wins $6. Again, four options. And question number three is, how much should be charged to play the game so that it is a fair game? Now, let's look into its solution. A player draws out number at random. This number is from 1 to 20. So, total possibilities are 20. So, in the denominator, we'll always get 20. Correct? Now, we need to find the probability that player wins $3. $3 player will win on getting even numbers, right? So in 20, there are 10 even numbers. However, out of these 10 even numbers, some are squares, right? So as you see here in question which follows, Dollar six if the number is a square number. Now, what are the square numbers? Let's look into the square numbers also before writing down the answer. The square numbers are square of one, which is one, square of two, which is four, square of three, which is nine, square of four, which is 16. So these are the square numbers in one to 20. Out of these numbers, you find that Two numbers are even. So if you get these two numbers, then you're getting more than three dollars, correct? So we'll take away these two numbers. So what are we left with? We're left with eight, ten minus two, right? Because the square numbers, you earn more, perfect? So that means it has to be eight out of twenty and not ten out of twenty. So uh, sometimes you can do a mistake. So remember that part. Now let's simplify this. We can divide by 5, 4. So 4 will give us 4 times 2 is 8 and 4 times 5 is 20. So we get option C as the right option. Is that clear to you? Perfect. Now let's look into question number 2 which is Calculate the probability that the player wins $6. Now let's read it carefully. $6 if the number is a square number and $9 if the number is both even and square. So what you notice here is that if you get 4 and 16, right, in that case, you win $9. So for 4, and 16, you actually get $9. But we need to find probability that the player wins $6. So it is only these two numbers, 1 and 9, which are going to give $6. Therefore, the probability here is 2 by 20, which is 1 out of 10. Does it make sense to you? So when you look into such questions, you have to be very careful. Perfect. Now question number three here is, how much should be charged to play the game so that it is a fair game? Now before getting into this, let us also find the probability of getting $9. Now to get $9, the number should be both even and square. That means we are looking for 4 and 16, 2 out of 20, right? So it is 2 out of 20 or 1 out of 10. 
Now we know the probability of winning $3, $6 and $9. From this information, we can find the fair cost of the game. Perfect. So now you solve question number three. We'll take a small break and then get back to its solution. I hope you enjoyed the Canadian nature. Now let's get back to question number three. How much should be charged to play the game so that it is a fair game? So what we just learned is that in this game, you could win $3, $6 or $9, okay? So let's put this information right here. So what are the winnings? So winnings are either $3 or $6 or $9. So what is the probability of these winnings, right? So probability of winning $3 came out to be 2 out of 5. That of $6 was 1 out of 10. And for $9 also, it was 1 out of 10. Now, to get the fair amount, what should we do? So these are the random variables. So we are saying that xi, and this is the probability of xi, their product we have to find, right? So xi times probability of xi to get us the fair game. Right? So the prob probability of winning, your winning in this game is what? Product of these two, right? So we get 3 times 2 over 5, 6 times 1 over 10, and 9 times 1 out of 10, right? So these values we have to add to get our expected earnings, okay? So when you add them, we get expected earnings. A game will be fair when you pay as much as you are expected to win. Perfect. So let's add them all. Let's add these three values and get our answer, right? So, so let's do it. So we have three times or you can just do uh, six divided by, okay. So we have three times two divided by five which is 6 over 5, 1.2. This is 0 0.6 and this is 0 0.9. So when you add them, you get plus 0 0.6 plus 0 0.9 equals to 27 over 10 or $2.70. Correct. Okay. So for a fair game, the condition is same as earnings. So the cost of game should be two dollars and seventy cents. Do you get the idea? So that is how we should be solving such a question. I hope it helps. Feel free to write your comment, share your views, and if you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.